What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about my favorite stock, maybe because it's by far the biggest winner in my portfolio, and that is NVIDIA. They just delivered another blowout quarter, and they look poised for more big wins. Okay guys, so like I said, those Q2 results are in, and they look amazing. So they just came in on right after market close, July 28th, NVIDIA reported significant sales and earnings beats for Q2. Check out these numbers. Revenue surged 122% year over year. Non-GAAP adjusted earnings per share increased by 152% reaching 68 cents. Average analyst estimates called for sales of $28.7 billion and earnings of $0.64 cents per share. So you can see, oh, just wow, NVIDIA blew it out of the water. They beat Wall Street's midpoint sales target of 4.5%. They exceeded earnings targets by 6.25%. They outperformed their own guidance, which predicted $28 billion in revenue and a 75.5% adjusted gross margin. Now, let's break it down. Look at those segments that were so successful because this is what's going to allow us to look into the future to see if NVIDIA is going to continue to give this kind of results. And by far, the biggest, the biggest winner in NVIDIA's portfolio is their data centers. Data center segment was a standout performance driver in Q2. Segment sales increased by 154% year over year reaching $26.3 billion, guys, just for this segment. Data center revenue accounted for 87.7% of NVIDIA's total revenue. Their sales grew by 16% compared to previous quarter. And all this is thanks to high demand from tech giants like Microsoft, Amazon, Meta Platforms, Alphabet. All of these companies are wanting the AI-focused GPUs. And NVIDIA's GPUs are, by far, the leading hardware in the AI revolution. The company's CUDA software platform offers a significant competitive advantage, creating high switching costs. They've built themselves, guys, a very wide moat. NVIDIA's market share, this is mind-blowing. Their market share in the AI, GPU, and accelerator market is estimated at 90%. 5% or higher. Talk about monopoly. NVIDIA just is blowing it out of the water. Absolutely insane. And then we got to look at some of these other segments because this is important because these small wins is really what brought NVIDIA across the finish line in a big way. We got to talk about their gaming segment because that's where it all started. Their sales increased 16% year over year, reaching $2.9 billion. This segment contributed approximately 10% of quarterly revenue. Then there's their professional visualization segment. Sales grew by 20% year over year, totaling $454 million. Their automotive and robotics segment, re revenue jumped a whopping 37% year over year, reaching $346 million. And guys, these other segments are important. Despite being smaller in comparison to the data center segment, these segments played a significant role in NVIDIA's overall performance, helping the company meet Wall Street expectations. Now, let's look at what their forward guidance is for Q3, because that's the million dollar question. NVIDIA projects Q3 sales of approximately $32.5 billion, indicating an annual growth rate of around 80%. Management is guided for an adjusted gross margin of 75%. Their expected adjusted operating expenses are roughly $3 billion. NVIDIA's sales guidance surpasses the average analyst estimate of $31.7 billion. So the company is maintaining strong pricing power with a gross margin target showing minimal erosion. So what's the future look like? We take all this, we take all the, the results from the earnings call. What's the future look like? NVIDIA is shipping right now samples of its upcoming Blackwell chips, which are anticipated to be its most successful product line ever. 
The new Blackwell platform is expected to significantly drive sales and margins though the release timing does, it remains uncertain. We don't really know when they're going to release them. NVIDIA's strong performance, guys, in Q2, and their promising guidance for Q3 positioned the company as a dominant force in the AI hardware market with its competitive strength at an all-time high. And guys, and that's why I'm 100% not selling one share of my NVIDIA not taking any profit. This company, I think, is going to continue to win. I'm holding on to all my shares. Um, absolutely just spectacular performance. Very happy with what I'm seeing here. NVIDIA did pull back just a little bit because that the expectations were just through the ceiling, but I expect that it'll pop right back up to its all-time high. Um, just insane results. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a big like and uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you want more videos like this, then subscribe to the channel, guys. I'm buying a new stock every single week and creating a video to let y'all know what I'm buying. So subscribe, check out those videos as well as videos like this where I'm just giving y'all all, all, the, all the details about what's happening in the market and great stocks that are coming um, that are passing by. So anyway, take it easy, guys, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video.